Hello everybody. It is December 31st, 2020, New Year's Eve. Uh, I've got my one of my 1953 QD14s here. Uh, that's one I've done videos on in the past. Um, last ran this motor in September of 2017. Um, ran real nice. That was a good strong runner. I did have, I uh, had it jump out of gear on me a couple of times, so I put the clutch dog on the list of things to do. Um, it got a new water pump, new ignition, uh, carburetor service, and all that last time before I ran it. Uh, and it was, in addition to having the clutch dog slipping, uh, it was leaking water around the power head base gasket for the exhaust housing. So, uh, it had some slop in the throttle linkage, uh, which I also I fixed that about two years ago, and I never ran it. Um, and today I just finished up the uh, gear case, put a new clutch dog in the gear case, and I pulled the power head off and replaced both base gaskets. Um, I'm sure the, the front one was fine, the rear one was leaking, uh, so I just put a new set in it replaced them both so uh, I thought I'd run it and see if my new gaskets are now not leaking hopefully they are not um, have not like I said have not run this motor in over three years so it's gonna be interesting to see what it does when I try to start it the primer in this one's kind of weak so uh, these things start really well if they get they get a good prime but uh, not sure how well it'll prime we will see they're kind of hard to prime in the barrel because they kind of need to lean backwards but anyway uh, fire it up here and see how it does it's stiff from sitting and it's cold out so here we go See fuel dripping, she's trying.
still runs great. Uh, it is leaking. It looks like I've got a upper water tube grommet that needs to be replaced. So in addition to my base gaskets, it's leaking there. So it looks like I'll be pulling it apart again and fixing that.